Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Horace and you're watching Possible Now. So guys, if you have a low and PC and you face FPS drop, lag, freezing and strutting kind of an issue in your game, then this video is for you. So just watch the video till the end and if you're new on this channel, kindly like this video, share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and without any waste of time, let's start the video. So guys, uh, this guide is divided into two parts, uh, internal tweaks and external tweak. So watch the full video for both uh, types of tweaks and the first tweaks we use here is internal tweaks so go to your game settings and uh, we will adjust the game settings for better performance so open fortnite and go to settings and set windowed mode to full screen and uh, if we talk about resolution here so use native or you can watch my uh, tutorial based on the best stretch resolution uh, which suits your PC and uh, if we talk about frame rate limit and uh, Set to unlimited if you have a little bit mid-range PC or if you if you have a low end PC Then definitely you need to set on 120 to 160 FPS with all the settings uh, set to low and uh, change the quality preset to low and set 3d resolution to uh, 75% uh, for me uh, and uh, it depends you can actually check uh, first and if you face any kind of like blurry vision then you set to 100% uh, on 3d on 3d resolution and uh, rendering mode definitely set on performance mode or dx11 mode because if you have low end pc and don't use dx12 mode and uh, copy the rest of the settings has shown on the screen and uh, set the matchmaking region to auto to reduce uh, input delay and ping kind of issue in your game so guys after this step your game should run better and if you're still experiencing lag don't worry we're just getting started so the next thing is the edit config file so we will edit the game configuration file for further optimization so press window key plus r and here you need to type percentage local life data percentage and press ok now navigate to the fortnite game go to saved go to config and go to windows client folder and find the game user settings.ina file ensure it's not set to read only in uh, his properties and uh, right click on the file and select edit Make the following changes you can see on the screen like set ray tracing shadow quality to false, ray tracing reflection quality to zero, ray tracing ambient collision quality to false, ray tracing all quality to low, scroll down and set resolution quality to 30 and save the file and set it back to read only in the properties. And after editing the config file, some in game settings may reset to default simply reapply the low settings if needed and if the game appears too blurry adjust the resolution quality uh, like high and uh, now guys uh, move to the uh, second part of this video like uh, external tweaks so now let's optimize your pc for better and in-game performance uh, before making any changes so first you're gonna need to create uh, the restore point right click on this pc and go to properties go to advanced system settings and create restore point so guys first of all uh, we need to turn off some background applications so for this you need to go to your research bar and in here you need to type settings go to your settings and uh, in here you need to find the privacy option click on it and now here in general tab you can see four options here turn off all of them and uh, down below and you can see the uh, background apps application options click on it and turn off all the background apps running in the background my background apps are already turned off so i don't need this so after that get back and now move to the gaming section here click on it and turn off some settings like game bar turn it off capture setting turn it off and game mode setting turn it on if you have a low end uh, pc and uh, go to your graphic settings and uh, here you need to uh, like click on browse and uh, click add your game fortnite client client win 64 shipping uh, it's already added click on your game 
click to option and set on your game on your like um, set on high performance click to save and get back and now move to the uh, next step and the next step is we need to delete some junk or bad files in our system so what we're gonna do is press windows key plus r and here in the run dialog box we use to like uh, use some command the first command is prefetch p r e f e t c h it's a first command press ok click to continue control is e, select all and delete all of these bad files in your system skip the step and uh, one more command we use here again press window key plus r and this time we type here uh, percentage temp t e m p again percentage it's a uh, second command press ok control a select all and also delete these uh, bad files don't worry these all are unnecessary and junk files so just delete these files and once you delete these files from here then you need to also delete uh, this file from the recycle bin also here now guys the next method is we need to install the latest DirectX version and also the visual retribution files in our PC so visit the official website of uh, DirectX and download the latest DirectX in your PC and uh, click on the setup um, double click on it accept the agreement click to next install the Bing bar it's optional so it's up to you click to next and wait for it and after few minutes it's done click to finish get back and now move to the visual retribution folder uh, official visit their official website and download all the visual files uh, to run your game properly so it's a batch file run this batch file and it will take some time you just need to uh, click just click to ok and rather of the steps it will automatically perform and it will install all the necessary files in your pc don't worry it's totally safe just as i do just follow my lead click to yes click to ok and after a few minutes guys just wait for it and that's it now because the pack steps are complete and uh, now the next method is we need to uh, free our cpu space from the task manager so open your task manager and uh, check your cpu space from here and uh, if your cpu space is like uh, under the 50 percent then it's uh, a good sign and uh, check your like go to performance tab and check your cpu space from here and if any of the uh, background application or program file that takes your cpu memory from here uh, this section then simply right click on that kind of program and end task uh, this kind of program like uh, adobe photoshop or any recording software just simply close all the background application like this because we need to run our game smoothly and fortnite and other online games mostly based on your processor or cpu and that's why we need to clean uh, and free our uh, cpu memory uh, from the task manager and now my cpu space is already free so i don't need this but in case you need this just simply find those kind of files and end task it and uh, this step is also complete guys and now just one more time you need to simply restart your pc and before launching your game just one more time you need to check your cpu memory from the task manager and that's it you're good to go and uh, in game settings you need to uh, set all your settings set to low if you want to more uh, FPS in your game if you want to gain more FPS um, in your game uh, because you have a low NPC and that's why you want more FPS and uh, set your rendering mode uh, to performance mode and that's it you're good to go now you can play your game smoothly without any lag freezing or certain kind of an issue in your game and uh, if you found this video helpful guys kindly like this video like this video share to your friends and subscribe the channel for more content and we will meet in the next one until then peace out